New York, 1934. Gabrielle Chanel has been a true star here for the past 15 years. Her avant-garde style and her love stories fascinate Americans. To them, she is the perfect embodiment of French chic. What history has forgotten is that during that period, a relentless young female designer seriously threatened her domination of the fashion scene. When, for the first time in its history, Time magazine puts a fashion designer on its cover, it is to showcase Elsa Schiaparelli, Chanel's great rival. The magazine speaks of genius, of a designer who is more daring and original than all of her contemporaries. Schiaparelli was uh, a name we don't know very much anymore, but in the 1930s, she was the most famous dress designer uh, in the world. Uh, she, le she, comes, she lived in Paris, she worked on the Place Vendôme, she had the world at her feet. Since the end of the 20s, Elsa Schiaparelli had been shaking up fashion with her wild sense of fantasy and her eccentric sense of humor. This exuberant style brings lightness and fun in an era of worldwide economic depression. But Coco Chanel, accustomed to being the queen of haute couture, could not imagine sharing her crown with anyone else, not even for a second. But Elsa Schiaparelli was not one to let herself be intimidated by the great Mademoiselle. They were rivals. They hated each other. It was a constant war between the two of them. It was really a power struggle. They were both women of power.